For me personally, right, when a boxer talks over the smack or they start lying or they get caught in a lie or whatever, I try not to judge them as an individual. Like, I see what they're doing is kind of wrong and whatever, but I don't let that cloud my judgment on their boxing ability. I try to separate the boxer from the actual personality, if you know what I mean. I don't say, oh, he's a liar, therefore, I don't think he's a good boxer, if you see what I'm getting at. A good example of that would be Tyson Fury. Now, I don't like a lot of things that Tyson Fury says, but unlike a lot of people that don't like what Tyson Fury says, I still think he's the best heavyweight out there at the minute. But a lot of people will basically acknowledge that he's a liar, he's this, he's that, and because of that, they'll take a disliking to him and want him to lose based on the fact that they don't like him personally and they kind of overlook his boxing ability. And the whole reason why I'm putting this out there is because I'm going to give an example of someone who's out there who's talking a lot of smack, in my opinion, or saying the wrong things at least, but they're not delivering as a pro. And I think it's worth mentioning and worth speaking about because this kid he's on the wrong path in my opinion some people don't say oh he's, get, he's got his head screwed on he knows what he wants and this that and the other but I don't see it like that I see it as someone who's a little bit naive who's basically saying the wrong things maybe making himself hard to work with in the future and pretty much ensuring that the big paydays that he's like yearning for that he's seeking are probably not going to come and the person I'm talking about is Jared Anderson now he's a decent enough fighter but he's going on record over and over again saying that he doesn't care about boxing he doesn't like boxing he doesn't care about legacy f my legacy he didn't actually say that I mean you might you might have seen the thumbnail and thought like I'm catfishing you or whatever but you got to understand that I'm kind of giving you a bit of context he's saying one thing but what he really means is f the legacy show me the money Jerry Maguire style big baby Anderson wants generational wealth he doesn't want to be in boxing too long and he seems to think by moaning about boxing all the time putting in subpar performances somehow he's gonna get that generational wealth I don't think he gets how the game works people have to like you people have to like your, your goods I mean even if they don't like you for example someone like Tyson Fury or maybe even Floyd Mayweather back in the day they didn't like them or don't like them or whatever but they'll still tune in to watch them fight because they want to see them lose that's not going to be the case for Jared Anderson no one's going to care he's not built himself to a level where anyone really cares who he is he's not fighting at a level where people are like starting to pay attention or anything like that and all he's doing is making himself look like a I don't even want to say it. I was going to say a bit of an idiot, but that's the wrong thing to say. Look, he's a professional boxer. He's a little kid in terms of when it comes to boxing and in terms of real real world as well. So I don't want to say that, but he is saying things that make him come across a little bit naive and it's not really going down too well with most people. And I say most people, I mean myself and a few people I've seen in the comments under the article that I read. I ain't going to lie and say I oh, was a whole army of people that are out for him or don't like what he said or whatever. But he can't have that many fans in general anyway. So if like... I don't know, me and five other people in one article are like not happy with the way he's carrying himself and he, him being about the business and not legacy and this, the things that he's saying. For us to pick up on it, and then you factor in that he doesn't really have like a legion of fans anyway, we got to be in the majority or at least like close to being in the majority. Like the people who are not happy with what he's saying are probably the majority, but there's no way of telling. But that to one side, so Jared Anderson essentially, right, he wants to create generational wealth. He's active enough. He's fighting, I don't know, last, his last fight, Charles Martin, that was like six to eight weeks ago, whatever it was. So he's active. But at the end of the day, if you're not getting the results, you're not going to grow your profile. If you don't grow your profile, you're not going to get the pay-per-views. If you don't get the pay-per-views, you don't get the wealth. That's basically it. Everyone knows the formula. And I personally, just me, you guys can have your own opinions on it, whether you can like what he's saying or whatever. I'm not a fan of what he's saying. I don't think he's doing himself any favors in terms of building his profile or anything like that. Now, he's fighting again this weekend on a... ESPN double header heavyweight show whatever they're doing out there and um, he's fighting Andrew Rodenko which is basically he's a journeyman at this point so you'd expect that Jared Anderson will probably win that fight and come out the other side and he said that he's happy that he's going to take the fight get paid rest and get back in the gym so he's looking to be extremely active and bank as much money as possible which is all great but when you're getting I don't know how much he's getting I've got no facts or numbers or anything but I'm going to assume that he's getting from somewhere between $100,000 a fight and $300,000 a fight. I think that recently on his last fight, he started headlining. So he's probably closer to $300,000 a fight than $100,000. I could be completely off, but I don't think top rank are known for paying mega purses for unknown average heavyweights. I could be wrong. If there's, you know, if you've got proof, feel free to share it. So he's fighting at pretty much gatekeeper level now. And he's probably going to look to, you know, excel in his career in the next couple of years and make the mega paydays. But how does he close that gap between the hundred thousand to three hundred thousand he's getting now to the five ten million dollars he wants to get a fight he needs to build his profile but every time he's on camera he's moaning about 
boxing, how he doesn't like boxing, how he just wants to make money. I don't think he's doing himself any favors. I don't think he's ever going to get to a point where he's a pay-per-view star. In fact, I'll go as far as to say that he's going to get knocked out before he ever gets the chance to fight on pay-per-view. And I'll also say this, I've covered him for like one and a half of his fights. Like the Charles Martin fight, I've done a few bits and pieces on that. And then for this fight, I thought I'd just like see what's out there, you know, just mention that he's fighting this weekend. And then I saw these quotes and you know what, one and a half fights, it's already turned me off him. From now on, after the Rodenko fight, he'll win that. But every other fight after that, I'm going to be supporting the guy in the other corner. Because there's no doubt the guy in the other corner loves boxing more than Jared Anderson does. That's all I got for this one, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. But don't. I'll catch you on the next one. Love.